Hello, I'm Tony Keith, the Christmas light guy, and today I'm excited to introduce you to the new ES Pixel Stick firmware version 4.0, just released and still in beta. I have been using the ES Pixel Sticks with firmware version 3.2 and had great success. I was able to incorporate wireless controllers into my holiday display. I have been hearing about version 4.0 being released for many months now and it's finally here. Let's take a look at one of my favorite features, the ability to upload sequences directly to the ES Pixel Stick and play them. Why is this one of my favorite features? I will use an ES Pixel Stick with my own X-Lite sequences to drive pixels on my indoor Christmas tree. How cool is that? Let's get started. Now from a computer on the same wireless network as your ES Pixel Stick is on, open a browser and use the IP address to pull up the setup page. Here is the home page. From there, go to the device setup. First, I will change the primary input to FPP remote. Next, I will change the output one to SW11, since this is the type of pixels I'm using on my Christmas tree. Now save the changes. Next, open X-Lite and go to the Controllers tab. I will use the Discovery option to find the ES Pixel Stick. I press the Discovery button and it found my controller. Then press Save. Next, go to the Layout tab to configure your Christmas tree. I placed a tree model and configured it with six spiral wraps and one string of 300 nodes to match my tree configuration. Your tree configuration may be different in the number of nodes and spirals. Next, I created a simple 30 second animation sequence with six different effects as an example. The first effect is the bars effect. The next is a single strand effect to create a bounce. Then, twinkle. Next is waves up and down. then red and green wash, and my favorite, the marquee. Before uploading to the ES Pixel Stick, set the sequence version to V2 uncompressed. Go to Menu X Lights, Preferences, then Sequences, and select Sequence Version of V2 Uncompressed. Now go back to the Controllers tab to assign the tree model to the controller and upload the configuration. Press the Visualize button, drag the tree model to Pixel Port 1, close the window, and save. Next I upload the configuration of the controller. This configures the controller output to the correct number of nodes and other settings like brightness. Press the Upload Output button. After it is uploaded, go back to the Sequence tab, go to the Tools menu, and select FPP Connect. A window will open. It found my controller. Select the sequence to upload. In this case, my sequence is called Xmas Tree. Press Upload. Now back to the ES Pixel Stick config page. Click on the File Management menu. You should see your sequence file listed. Next, click the Device Setup menu. Notice it configured the output to 300 pixels, which is correct. Now set the FSeq File to Play option to your sequence. Then save. And voila! Your sequence is now playing. I think that's pretty cool. Currently, it's only fall and I wasn't able to show this feature running on my actual indoor Christmas tree, but I think you get the idea. Last year, I used a power supply, a multi-port uh, controller that I wasn't using in my display, my spare Raspberry Pi running Falcon Player, just to control my indoor sequences on my Christmas tree. This year, I'm only running a power supply, an ES Pixel Stick running firmware version 4.0 and the new feature to play uploaded sequences directly. If you've enjoyed this tutorial and would like to see more, please subscribe to my channel, The Christmas Light Guy.